Hi guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to solve this uh, leak code number 48, rotate image. So um, we need to do this, uh, the challenge is that we need to do this in place. Right? So basically what we have is uh, uh, image looks like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, look like this. And then uh, the one uh, will jump to this part and the two jumps to that spot and three jumps to that spot, etc. So um so the entire row becomes the new column and then and the second one is the same the entire the second row become the second column and um the third row become the first column etc so um and this question also this is another example um same idea so the first row becomes the last column second row uh, becomes the, <clears throat> the second from the last column and the third row is becomes the, the second column and the last row becomes the first column um, and this question and just some uh, trivial case uh, this question was asked by uh, so uh, Amazon Microsoft Apple etc so we can see a list of companies over here uh, so this algorithm, I put a link in here, uh, show by uh, Nick White, and he implemented in Java, but in this video, I'm gonna implement that algorithm in Python. So um, anyway, let's walk through briefly uh, what, uh, what was the algorithm. So um, let me put it over here. So as you can see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what we do, we need the first one is basically we need to do a transpose. So uh, I, what transpose does is just um, uh, so for example, the first row becomes the box column, second row becomes the second column, and etc. Let's transpose, and then we swap it. So we're basically we swapping the columns. So first row goes to the end, and the last uh, last column goes to the front. So we swap swapping of the columns. So this is a three by three matrix, and for the four by four, uh, it's a similar idea, um, except that uh, for the three by three, for the odd number, um, we are not swapping the middle, but for the four by four, we also swap in the middle. So um, yeah, so it, it, it is done in two steps, and um, and everything is, is done in place. So let me show you how it works in Python. And first, we need to do the transpose. So transpose, basically, we are swapping. So for example, we have M, I, J, right? And um, we would do it uh, become, the index would become J M, J, I. Uh, for example, the first one, uh, the first one is not going to be changed because as you can see, uh, it's a zero and zero, and still zero and zero. But uh, for the second one, uh, it goes here from this one is uh, the index is zero one becomes um, becomes uh, uh, one zero so etc. So um, yeah, so this is how it's gonna work. Uh, let's put in the code. So uh, for um, for loop, uh, see not used. I think it's just uh, row and column. So, well, yeah, I just want that convention column. It's, it's fine. So for um, R in range length of a uh, matrix. Um, well, you know what? Let's save the, the number of index uh, somewhere here. Okay, so we're gonna use it again and again. So um, let's see, n equals to the length of uh, the rows. I mean, it will be the same as the length of the columns. This is uh, it's the n by n matrix, so let's use that. Uh, it's the same, right? Number of rows is the same as the number of columns. So also uh, for um, column in range, that and what we do, we do it in place. 
uh, in Python, we can do very easy uh, to swap it. Right? So uh, what we can do is let me walk you through in the graph. I think uh, it's very easy to understand how it works. So uh, for example, one what you get here is one swap into itself uh, because the row index and columns is the same. So whenever I, I, I swap it, I just fold it. Okay, so uh, so we swap it after that we swap become like this, and then the two swaps is the four, and then becomes like this two and four swapped. And then the three swap is a seven. So because the column index, uh, the row index is zero, and column index, so this is zero, two, and this two zero. So we swap it, and the five we swap by itself. The same row index and same column index, and uh, six, six swap with the eight, um, six swaps the eight, and nine is a uh, swap by itself. So as you can see, uh, we are swapping how many times? One, two, three, four. Five and six, six times. So how can we do that? And uh, as you can see, basically when we look at this one, it's swap by itself. This one swap with the four, and the third one is swap with the seven. So we don't, when we so the the traverse, we don't do the four again because when we do it, we just swap back, which we don't want. So we only swap once, and that's it. So how can we do that? And in the loop, we only need to uh, loop uh, the entire row of the first row, and for the second row, so we'll loop the, these two guys. The last row, the last row is gonna only loop in uh, only for that uh, element. Otherwise, it's just I mean, it was, it was swap back, right? So we don't want that. And uh, in the code, how do we do that? And so we can have a starting uh, column. So, for example, the first the, for the first row with starting column will be zero because we starting from the um, for the first um, column, and the second one the starting column index will be one, the third one the starting column index will be three. I'll give you two. So, uh, so we have a starting column of zero, and then uh, whenever we finish the column, uh, we will add one column to it. So, plus uh, equal one. We'll do that. And now we can do the swapping. Um, so let's add this guy over here. Um, in Python, we can do that really easily. Um, column go equals to uh, So this is how we're going to do the swapping. So if there's a bug in here, uh, so this start column should be outside. Otherwise, you, you keep pushing back to zero each time for the start column. So now, uh, after running this, and we will go from here like this to uh, transpose the matrix like this. That this block code. And uh, so the next time, next one, we're going to do uh, the column wise swapping. So what we can do is like a we have a pointer, uh, and we want pointer get and uh, get outside, and then you are moving toward the end at each time, and then we can swap the column each time until we move to the middle. So um, let's take a look at how it works. Um, <coughs> let's put some nodes in here. Uh, what we can do is uh, first one is the transpose, second one what to do is the Swapping uh, columns from outside inward. Right? How to do it? And then first column of both outside, swap it. Next one, swap it. And all the way until the end. 
and let's take a look uh, how many times we have to do this swapping right so uh for this case we need to do um well for this column we swap for that column and only one time actually we don't do the middle so for three by three matrix we are only doing once so do once and for a uh, four by four matrix we need to do two times uh for so for uh this guy and then swaps for this column that's the first time and second time is doing these two columns swap together um so we need to do it two times right so in general this is how many times we, we need to do the swapping so for three by three uh, so it's n uh, divided by two and then take the integer part so uh, for the three by three we do it one time and uh, for the four by four we do it two times so this is the general uh, how many times we have to do the swapping uh, for columns so uh, let's put that in the nose so we're gonna swap it or otherwise we, we, we don't want to overdo this because if we overdo this is swap it back to what it was before and right? this is what what not what we want right so let me swap only for in over two the module of two times okay so let's put it down in the code so uh time so then column swap equals to n so this is a total number of swap that we need to do so let's do the rows uh the column swapping right now um after you figure out how many column swaps you can do um so okay so it's gonna be a matrix also a matrix here and, and note that uh, we we have the same uh row because we're only swapping the column right so we don't change the column uh, because we are uh, not swapping the, the row we only swap, swap the column right so we're holding the row index to be the same but the column index is what we are swapping for so uh, so it's Okay, so I think um, this might work. And also on top of that, we have to swap, uh, we can have to look through each of the rows, right? So uh, for row, so basically it's this part. We are not only swapping one row, we're swapping all uh, n rows. So we need to do that as well. Uh, and uh, let's see if that works so after after the swapping and this is what we'll be getting at the end so let's see no, yeah it works uh, let's submit let's see perfect so uh it's pretty efficient solution as you can see uh it's uh passing uh, 80 percent of the of the uh, python submissions so in terms of the time complexity um we are doing so in this part we are doing a uh, sort of like a uh, n by n but uh, we are only doing the upper part of the triangle right so um yeah so sort of like n uh, by n divided by two so still uh, the constants job so still n by n for the first uh for the first part and that uh, is a um, um a uh, transpose operation and the second one is still it's also n by n uh because we're swapping all the column it's sort of like n uh the n by n divided by two uh n divided by two times n so it's still n by n so basically it's the n n squared divided by two plus n squared divided by two so in total operations still n squared so that's um um that's a that's a uh, time complexity and also um for um space complexity uh, is a big old one we're doing everything in place so um yeah so that's my solution and uh, i hope you like it uh, if you do uh, please like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video thank you